Folks, I'm about to share some breaking news with you that's not breaking or even news. Big Pharma put out an experimental COVID vaccine without knowing if it would indeed prevent infection or spread. Well, no freaking duh. It's time for Final Thoughts. A typical vaccine development timeline takes five to 10 years and sometimes longer to assess whether the vaccine is safe and efficacious in clinical trials, complete the regulatory approval processes, and manufacture sufficient quantity of vaccine doses for widespread distribution. That's according to Johns Hopkins University in Medicine, by the way. I didn't just pull it out of thin air. And if you're a vax pusher and want to somehow do the moron mental gymnastics necessary to discredit Johns Hopkins, well, here is a quote from the definitely not conservative New York State Department of Health, which states the creation of a vaccine usually requires 10 to 15 years of research. Want to know how long it took the FDA to push through the experimental COVID vaccines? Well, the virus that causes COVID-19 was first identified in December 2019. And by December 11, 2020, the Pfizer vaccine became the first to receive emergency use authorization from the FDA. Huh. Wow, a year, huh? Not five to 10, not 10 to 15, just one, huh? That sounds safe. But I mean, let's go ahead and throw all the side effect horror stories out the window. Let's throw Big Pharma a bone and pretend it's safe. Are the COVID vaccines effective? Well, we know now that people have died from COVID after receiving the vaccines, and we know for damn sure by now they don't prevent infection or spread. But is this a relatively new revelation? No, no, it's not. In fact, according to this testimony by Pfizer top executive and the company's president of international development markets, Janine Small, Pfizer had no idea if their mystical, magical rush vaccine would do jack. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? And I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it entered the market? No. Uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. Yes, yes, she really did just admit Pfizer's mRNA vaccine had never been tested on its ability to prevent the transmission before it's released to the general public at large. Am I shocked? No. Do I think this is going to change the minds of the COVID obsessed vax worshipers who celebrate booster shots like Mardi Gras? No. But with each passing day, we get more and more information that validates and justifies the conspiracy theories us vax skeptics have had since day one. Now, the only question remaining is how long the big tech and big pharma duo can continue to suppress the very real vaccine side effect stories. The emperor has no clothes, people. Pull back the magic curtain and open your freaking eyes and you'll see it clear as day. And I pray you do before you pound booster eight into your freaking arms. At this rate, some of you are going to be glowing in Technicolor by Christmas. Best of luck with that. I'm going to go ahead and stick to diet, exercise, and basic hygiene. Those are my final thoughts. Make sure you catch the entire show and exclusive content on Outkick.com. From Nashville, God bless and take care.